morning and welcome back. Welcome back to me from my trip to New Orleans. Let me just tell you that my heart, my soul, my belly is so full from my trip. It was absolutely fantastic. Even though I spent several days in New Orleans, I still feel like I didn't see everything. There is so much to see there. It is such an amazing city to visit. I highly recommend if it's on your bucket list to go to New Orleans, go to New Orleans because it was absolutely fantastic. I did a big post in my Facebook group all about my trip with lots and lots of pictures. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, I'll put that here on the screen for you. We'd love to have you join us and you can see the post and all the pictures. I talked all about everything that I did in New Orleans. If you're interested in hearing about different tours and things that I did and just about my trip overall, but it was exactly, and I mean exactly what I needed. It was fantastic. But I'm back. I actually came in at almost midnight last night. So I skipped boot camp for obvious reasons this morning because I would have had to get up at 4 a.m. And I'm actually going to take today and tomorrow is rest days from working out. I did a 5K when I was in New Orleans. I also did a biking tour. So I was very, very, very active. I mean, the day I did the 5K, I had 22,000 steps. So I was very active and I just need to get caught up on my work. Wanted to get today's What I Eat in a Day filmed. Lola has chemo tomorrow. It's my filming day. So I'm going to get back to the grind when it comes to working out. As of Wednesday, I'm going to boot camp and I'm actually really excited about it. Weird thing is I kind of miss it. So today I am just playing catch up, doing macros, going through emails, getting set up for the week. I'm going to film a couple of videos today. So it's going to be a busy day. I actually just finished my protein coffee with my collagen for her and my just better fiber. I will link Collagen for Her and Just Better Fiber down below for you with a discount. That goes into my coffee every morning. I actually took it with me when I traveled. I just got dressed for the day. I'm going to go have some breakfast. Speaking of getting dressed for the day, a lot of you have reached out, commented on my videos. Let me know that you really like to see my outfit of the day. And today's outfit of the day is from a online clothing brand that I've actually purchased from before called Echoer. I'll go ahead and put the name here on the screen for you. I decided to go ahead and pick up some loungewear pieces. I I always say that I pretty much live in pajamas or loungewear and today is no different and with Mother's Day coming up I thought that I would share the three pieces that I picked up because they are pajamas, loungewear, perfect for your mom for Mother's Day, perfect for yourself for Mother's Day. If you love loungewear as much as I do, you are going to love these. One of the outfits is the one that I'm wearing today. This is actually a three-piece set. This is the three-piece lounge set drawstring sweatsuit. I picked mine up in a size large. It actually comes in sizes small through extra, extra large. It comes in black, green, pink, light green, charcoal gray, wine, khaki, and cream. Now I went ahead and grabbed mine in the wine color. This is actually one of my favorite colors. This out, this loungewear set, million out of 10. It is so incredibly comfortable. It has kind of a little bit of a ribbed material. You're going to get a loose, fit straight legged pair of lounge pants that has an adjustable tie waist. You're going to get this cute little tank top that actually has those adjustable strings on the side so you can scrunch it up. You can untie them and tie them very loosely for a looser fit of the tank top. And I love that you get the overlay robe slash jacket for those cooler days, cooler nights. I am currently just wearing the tank top in the lounge pants, but robe is right over here. And I'll definitely be wearing that while I sit at my desk and work today. This is incredibly high quality, very high quality material, very, very comfortable. I absolutely love this. And Cannot wait to wear this all day. Now, you know me and my love of leopard print. So I did pick up this cute little short set. Now it comes in other patterns other than leopard print, but you actually get a pair of drawstring, functional drawstring waisted shorts. I have my set in a size large. It's baggy on me. I would say that the size large runs maybe a little bit oversized, but loungewear and pajamas should be a little bit oversized. So I would stick true to size or even size down if you're in between sizes on everything that I'm sharing with you. But these shorts are so incredibly buttery soft. It's actually a two piece set with this little tank top here. I love this ruching elastic in the back. This is the camisole two piece pajama set. It actually comes in five different patterns in sizes small through extra, extra large. I have mine in pattern number two, again, which is this pink kind of ombre leopard print. This is buttery soft and so comfortable, like so, so, so comfortable. You know, I live in Arizona. It's a warm climate. So I like the fact that I have a tank top, shorts, 
two-piece set for about $22 before any discounts. And I actually have a 30% off discount for you. I'll go ahead and put that here on the screen. All of these pieces will be linked down below with that 30% discount, but this is so cute. They have a floral pattern and then three other kind of leopard patterns, black and white, a little bit more of just like a pink and black, really, really cute and super, super affordable for how high quality it is. And I wanted to pick up another set that was a little bit on the warmer side, especially for those cooler nights and for those of you that live in cooler states or have moms that live in cooler states. So I picked up this waffle print two-piece v-neck set. This again is so incredibly soft. I got mine in orange because you guys know that I love orange, but it comes with this v-neck off the shoulder top and a pair of drawstring shorts. This is the pajama set with waffle knit loungewear v-neck off the shoulder. It comes in white, army green, black, khaki, purple, and light coffee, sizes small through extra, extra large. I also got mine in a size large and it is very oversized. I could have went to a medium, maybe even a small. Now again, I know at loungewear should be oversized and comfortable. This is definitely big, but it's comfortable. It's very comfortable. Right, I will definitely be wearing that a lot. And I love the matching shorts. They do have a functioning drawstring, really thick, high quality material, and they are the perfect length. Super, super flattering on the figure, even, the, even though all of these pieces are a bit oversized. This is perfect, again, for those colder evenings, colder days, and again, all three of these would be absolutely fantastic Mother's Day gifts. I think I'm actually going to purchase my mom a three-piece set because I know that she will love it, and I just can't believe the quality. Every piece I've purchased has been excellent, excellent quality. And again, I do have a 30% discount, so I'll link everything I purchased, the, uh, the website for you, and the 30% discount information. Go do some shopping for your mom or yourself for Mother's Day. So let's make some breakfast. I am getting pretty hungry. I am actually going to dice up and fry up one of my Gilbert's Caprese chicken sausages. I love these. These are so good. I'm going to make a scramble. Like I said, I indulged in all the New Orleans food, so I want to get back on track. Really have a whole food focus for today. All of those good fruits, vegetables, just whole foods as much as possible. And of course, getting back to tracking my food because I didn't track on my trip, making sure I'm reaching my protein goal, just being a little bit more mindful. So I'm going to have one of these Gilbert's Caprese sausages. I do have some diced up green onions in my refrigerator that need to be used up. And then I have some egg whites. So I'm going to, again, make just kind of an egg scramble. I may top it with a little bit of cheese. I probably will. And then I have some blueberries as well that I need to eat up. So I'm going to put together an egg scramble blueberry breakfast. So I did four tablespoons of egg whites, just measured that out on my food scale, my Gilbert sausage, some green onions, and then I topped it with pepper and Trader Joe's onion salt. So here is my breakfast. This looks absolutely amazing. So I did end up adding 10 grams of the Trader Joe's light shredded cheese just right on top of the eggs with the sausage, 75 grams of blueberries. This is such a low calorie, high volume meal. Very, very filling for very low calories and absolutely packed with protein, healthy carbs, fiber. I'll go ahead and put all of the macros, calories, and points here on the screen for you. It has been a busy day. I actually just refilled my water with the Motivate Burn because I need some extra energy today. Like I said, I didn't get home till midnight and I didn't go to sleep till like almost one. I was up at five. We need energy. So I have some Motivate Burn. Like I said, I finished unpacking and then I was going through all the mail, all the boxes that came. And there's actually one package that arrived that I'm really excited about. I've been patiently waiting for it. You know that I go to boot camp three days a week and we have to supply our own equipment, our own yoga mat, our own medicine ball, and our own weight. My yoga mat I bought on Amazon. It was a good price, but it is completely trashed already. It is scratched. It's peeling. It's filthy dirty. It is one of the ones that rolls up. It unrolls all the time. It's a big mess in the back of my car. So I decided to buy a folding mat. And what's really cool about this mat is it can be used for my purpose of boot camp or exercising at home, but it's also made for equipment like under a Peloton, a treadmill, or an exercise bike. And this is it. It's actually from the brand Rywell, and I got it right off of Amazon. It is so nice and it folds up. How great is that? So instead of having to roll up my mat after my workout, I can simply fold it up, 
slide it into my car. It's going to take up a lot less space and it's going to just work so much better for me. I'm super excited about this. I'm taking it with me for a trial run on Wednesday, but I wanted to share it with you guys because it is so versatile. Like I said, it can be used under any at-home gym equipment, like a Peloton, an exercise bike, a treadmill, a weight machine, really anything. This is a high density, durable workout mat, foldable, non-slip and waterproof, super easy to clean. And you guys, the price of this is less than the crappy mat. I bought on Amazon, although you can buy this on Amazon as well. The price is much better. It ranges from about $24 to $27, depending on the size of the mat that you get, as well as the color. It does come in black and gray and black and blue. It is 10 times more durable than any other workout mat. It is great for heavy exercise equipment. It does not crease even after extended use. And with equipment, these types of mats can extend the years of your equipment, five to 10 years by preventing damage caused by contact between exercise equipment and the floor. I love that it is foldable. It makes it super, super easy. Even though these come in five by 5.6 feet by two feet and six feet by 2.6 feet, it folds up into this little compact package. The thickness is only 3.14 inches, allowing you to store it anywhere when you finish your workout or if you need to clean your machine. What's also great is it's grippy and we always want some stability and some grip under our workout equipment. Rywell is the perfect mat to add that rough pattern for greater resistance and a non-slip grid layer. The other fantastic thing about this is noise control. So if you are in an apartment or you have neighbors up, down, or on the sides, this mat's going to provide you noise control, which is fantastic as, as well as all of the amazing other benefits. It is safe to use and easy to clean. The mat has a water and oil repellent coating so cleaning is simple. Just wipe it down with soapy water. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. I mean this is the perfect versatile mat for all of your exercise needs. If I had any at-home exercise equipment you can bet I'd be putting this under all of it because the price is so great and the quality can't be beat. The thickness is perfection. I love that it's gray on one side, black on the other. The other one is gonna be blue on one side and black on the other. And like I said, less than $30. Those gym floor tile, stick together tiles and other gym mats are two, three, four times the price and nowhere near the quality of this Rywell. So I will link this down below on Amazon with a discount for you. So if you're in the market for an exercise mat or mat under your gym equipment, this Rywell one is perfect. My least favorite part of traveling is unpacking and laundry. Oh my goodness, I just finished unpacking. <laughs> that was a lot. I feel like packing to go and unpacking is the absolute worst. Packing to head home, not a problem. You just kind of throw all your stuff in a suitcase. But I'm finally done. I have a load of laundry going. I've been running around like crazy and I am going to have a morning snack because I'm getting a little bit hungry. We don't have a lot of food in our house because as you saw in my grocery haul, I did a very minimal grocery haul. I am planning on a pretty big haul this next Saturday. So I'm trying to eat up what we have in the house. And again, just refocusing, resetting, getting back on track after vacation. So I have one yogurt left in my fridge and it's actually the Oikos protein yogurt in mixed berry. It has 20 grams of protein, which is amazing. And then I just washed some fresh raspberries. I, so I get asked a lot about this whole berries in a jar thing. I even do that with cucumbers. It helps keep your berries really fresh. I wash them. I put them in the jar. I do not dry them. I do drain any excess liquid that might be in the jar, but I'm but this is really just a great way to keep your berries and your vegetables really fresh. So I'm probably gonna do maybe like 40 or 50 grams of raspberries on my yogurt. So there we have it, 50 grams of raspberries on an Oikos Pro yogurt. This yogurt is fantastic. It's the highest protein yogurt that you can get. It's really, really delicious and I always love to add fruit, freeze dried fruit or granola and this, I can, I have to say, looks pretty amazing. Would you guys like a special bone? Oh, special bones, come on, let's go. All righty, special bone time. My dog, my dogs love these smart bones with peanut butter. There's no rawhide and this is what they look like. My dogs love them. So here you go for you pumpkin. And for you, baby girl. It's lunch time, and I'm so hungry. I'm definitely ready for lunch. I've been working away, unpacking, doing laundry. So 
Today's lunch, I'm actually pretty excited about. I picked up the Trader Joe's turkey burgers in a recent grocery haul. I haven't had these in so long, and these are so, so good. There's actually 22 grams of protein per turkey burger. Now, they're not a 99%. They do have some fat. Actually, they're 180 calories and 10 grams of fat. Really good ingredients, turkey, kosher salt, and rosemary extract, which is just for freshness, and they are so good. So I'm gonna fry one of those up with a slice of the Sargento reduced fat pepper jack cheese, and then I'm going to add just a tiny bit of Dijon mustard. And then for a little added crunch, I'm going to have some of the reduced fat cheese puffs from Trader Joe's. This is going to be kind of my crunchy snack for the day. I love these, and you can actually have 36 of them for 140 calories. So really, really good. They're nice and crunchy, nice and cheesy. So here's my lunch. I can't tell you how excited I am. So we had a little faux pas with the cheese. When I went to dig the burger out of the pan, it flipped over. So the cheese got a little wonky, but it's one slice of that reduced fat pepper jack cheese, Dijon mustard, and then one serving of the cheese puffs. You actually get a lot for the points and calories. So I'll go ahead and put all of the macros, points, calories here on the screen for you. So I'm going to go check the mail and I wanted to show you guys our cactus. Look at the flowers on this. This is seriously new. We just planted this about a month ago. Those suckers are like four to five inches long. Do you see the little balls on the cactus? That's what turns into the flower. And actually over here, and these are brand new too. You see those little balls too? Those should turn into flowers. So that is very exciting. We are anxious to see what these look like. I heard my mother-in-law said that they only bloom for a very, very short time, like a day or two, then they're gone. But I'm just biting at the bullet to see what they look like in full bloom. It is afternoon snack time and I'm keeping it simple. I'm not super excited. I've been really focusing on water. That's one of my tips for you. If you indulge, if you go on vacation, if you have an exciting weekend with lots of good food, make sure you up your water. That's going to help kind of flush everything out. So I've been drinking a lot of water today, which is kind of filling me up, but I'm a little bit hungry. Like I need something to sustain me till dinner. So I'm actually going to have one of my kind minis. This box has the dark chocolate nuts and sea salt and the caramel almond sea salt. I think I'm gonna do the dark chocolate one. This is just the perfect little light snack. And again, I'm pairing this with about my fifth bottle of water, so I'm pretty proud of myself for that. So we're having an easy dinner tonight just because we don't have anything pulled out or ready for the week. So I have this chicken fried rice from Trader Joe's in my freezer. I defrosted it a little bit and I'm going to pan fry that up. And then I also have the gyoza popstickers from Trader Joe's. I'm going to steam these and that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. So I'm going to cook my fried rice in a skillet with some nonstick cooking spray. And then I have my little Pamper Chef steamer basket. I'm just going to throw this into the microwave and steam the pot stickers. This fried rice looks amazing. I added a tiny bit of sesame oil because I wanted to crisp up the rice. The pot stickers are just about out of the microwave. I'll plate up dinner and I'll be back to share points, calories and macros. So here is dinner. This looks absolutely delicious. I did do a couple tablespoons of the hoisin sauce. I don't think that will even use maybe a tablespoon, uh, but I did put a couple tablespoons in a little bowl to dip the pot stickers in. So all of the information for tonight's dinner is on the screen. The flowers finally opened up. They are huge. We still have two more clothes bulbs and little more hairy bulbs on there, but so pretty. It is the end of the night and I need to get my second protein supplement in for the day. If you follow me, you know that I have a pretty high protein goal to meet every single day. And for me, that means having two protein supplements. I have my protein coffee in the morning and then I either have another protein coffee, protein bar, protein shake, protein powder, something like that at some point during the day to get in my protein. And one of my favorite things, I actually shared this in last week's What I Eat in a Day, that I've been loving for dessert slash getting in the rest of my protein is to make my new favorite protein shake ever. It's two ingredients, it's so easy. So I'm going to start with one cup of the Fairlife chocolate milk. This is actually 140 calories, but has 13 grams of protein. So it's a little higher point, little higher calories, but it's legit chocolate milk and it's so good. And then I mix in any of the Clean Simple Eats protein powders. I typically pick one that either has a vanilla or chocolate base. This one's really good. Last time I did German chocolate cake, that was amazing. And cookies and cream is also so good. This combination together, 
million out of 10. And then all I do is throw all this in my Nutribullet with some ice cubes, blend it up, and it's a literal milkshake. So I save calories, points, macros on fruit, like adding a frozen banana in if by using this chocolate milk. So it ends up kind of being a wash calorically, and I just like it a lot better. So let's blend up a cookies and cream protein shake for dessert. So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. It was a very, very busy day. I am really proud of myself for getting right back on track, really focusing on whole real food today, hitting my protein goals, staying in my calories. This is what vacation's all about. Go enjoy your vacation. Enjoy all the food around you in moderation, of course. And when you come back, you just get back to normal. And any weight that you may have gained weight I say loosely because it's typically travel bloat and it's gone within a couple of days, but any weight that you see increased on the scale generally goes away rather quickly if you just get back to your normal routine. So I'm actually excited to see what this week's weigh-in brings. And like I said, I had an amazing trip. I feel really good being back on track, back to my good whole food. I can't wait to stock up my house because we are running super low on groceries. But overall, everything I ate today was amazing and it was a very productive and effective day. So. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not because we do a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to everything I shared with you today, the Rywell mat, and all of the adorable, adorable clothes from Ecuar. Definitely check it all out down below and come join my Facebook group. I'd love to have you. Thank you for watching, friends. Happy Wednesday and I'll see you in Friday's weigh-in.